I constantly have little boils on my panty line or around that area. They are mostly filled with puss and blood, but some are only blood. They are very painful and always there. A new one goes away and another one comes. I have been to the gynecologist and have no STDs. What could it be? A boil, also referred to as a skin abscess, is a localized infection deep in the skin. A boil generally starts as a reddened, tender area. Over time, the area becomes firm and hard. Eventually, the center of the abscess softens and becomes filled with infection-fighting white blood cells that the body sends from the bloodstream to eradicate the infection. This collection of white blood cells, bacteria, and proteins is known as pus. Finally, the pus forms a head, which can be surgically opened or spontaneously drained out through the surface of the skin. There are several different types of boils. Among these are, furuncle or carbuncle, this is an abscess in the skin caused by the bacterium Staphylococcus aureus. A furuncle can have one or more openings onto the skin and may be associated with a fever or chills. Cystic acne, this is a type of abscess that is formed when oil ducts become clogged and infected. Cystic acne affects deeper skin tissue that the more superficial inflammation from common acne. Cystic acne is most common on the face and typically occurs in the teenage years. Hydrodenitus suppurativa, this is a condition in which there are multiple abscesses that form under the armpits and often in the groin area. These areas are a result of local inflammation of the sweat glands. This form of skin infection is difficult to treat with antibiotics alone and typically requires a surgical procedure to remove the involved sweat glands in order to stop the skin inflammation. Pilonidal cyst, this is a unique kind of abscess that occurs in the crease of the buttocks. Pilonidal cysts often begin as tiny areas of infection in the base of the area of skin from which hair grows, the hair follicle. With irritation from direct pressure over time the inflamed area enlarges to become a firm, painful, tender nodule making it difficult to sit without discomfort. These frequently form after long trips that involve prolonged sitting. There are many causes of boils. Some boils can be caused by an ingrown hair. Others can form as the result of a splinter or other foreign material that has become lodged in the skin. Others boils, such as those of acne, are caused by plugged sweat glands that become infected. The skin is an essential part of our immune defense against materials and microbes that are foreign to our body. Any break in the skin, such as a cut or scrape, can develop into an abscess should it then become infected with bacteria. Most simple boils can be treated at home. Ideally, the treatment should begin as soon as a boil is noticed since early treatment may prevent later complications. The primary treatment for most boils is heat application, usually with hot soaks or hot packs. Heat application increases the circulation to the area and allows the body to better fight off the infection by bringing antibodies and white blood cells to the site of infection. As long as the boil is small and firm, opening the area and draining the boil is not helpful, even if the area is painful. However, once the boil becomes soft or forms a head, that is, a small pustule is noted in the boil, it can be ready to drain. Once drained, pain relief can be dramatic. 
Most small boils, such as those that form around hairs, drain on their own with soaking. On occasion, and especially with larger boils, the the larger boil will need to be drained or lensed by a healthcare practitioner. Frequently, these larger boils contain several pockets of pus that must be opened and drained. Antibiotics are often used to eliminate the accompanying bacterial infection. Especially if there is an infection of the surrounding skin, the doctor often prescribes antibiotics. However, antibiotics are not needed in every situation. In fact, antibiotics have difficult penetrating the outer wall of an abscess well and often will not cure an abscess without additional surgical drainage. Any boil or abscess in a patient with diabetes or a patient with an underlying illness that can be associated with a weakened immune system, such as cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, etc., should be evaluated by a healthcare practitioner. Additionally, many medicines, especially prednisone, that suppress the immune system, the natural infection fighting system of the body, can complicate what would be an otherwise simple boil. Patients who are on such medications should consult their healthcare practitioner if they develop boils. If you are not sure about your medication's effects on the immune system, your pharmacist may be able to explain to you which medicines to be concerned about. Any boil that is associated with a fever should receive medical attention. A pilonidal cyst, a boil that occurs between the buttocks, is a special case. These almost always require medical treatment including drainage and packing, putting gauze in the opened abscess to assure it continues to drain. Finally, any painful boil that is not rapidly improving should be seen by the healthcare practitioner. You can read more here too info. If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now, visit justanswer.com slash yt health.